I want to be an engineer. I want to be a filmmaker. I want to become an actor. Now I have become an artist. I'm a healthcare professional. I want to be a successful businessman. Hello and welcome to Future here on Fullerton College Television. My name is Ryan Osborne and today we will be having a fellow Hornet share with us as to why they chose their major and how that major will benefit their future. Here with us is Sean Purser. Sean, what's your major here at Fullerton? I'm a theater major. What's a theater major do? Well, it depends on if you're working on the technical side of things or the acting side of things. Technical side, you're building props and sets, uh, maybe doing lighting or sound, acting, you're acting. <laughs> now, in your perspective, what's the most difficult one? Well, I guess it just depends on what you enjoy doing. I mean, if you enjoy doing it, then it's probably not too hard, right? <laughs> there you go. Now, what are you looking to gain out of the Fullerton College Theater Department? Well, it's a good place to get experience, and it's one of the best theater departments in the country, really. Um, and I've learned a lot being there. And also, uh, I want to get a basis for my general education requirement, so that way I can transfer to a four-year university. What, how did you pick Fullerton College? Well, uh, from Dallas, I called around to a bunch of colleges in the area, and um, this college was the most helpful when I got a hold of Mella Hoyt Hayden. She really answered all of my questions and was very nice, and, uh, and really she made me feel comfortable about making a decision to come here. Now, what has been a project here at Fullerton that you are most proud of taking a part in? Well, it's always a great experience to work in the scene shop uh, for any kind of theatrical production. You get to work on all the sets and, um, and props and that sorts of thing, and it's everybody in there kind of working together as a team mm. and uh, getting stuff done really quickly and efficiently, and it feels great. So you like the hands-on uh, aspect of it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I don't like to sit still. No. <laughs> so... Building sets, how do you create a set just going from what your mind thinks should be there? Uh, well, originally you come up with an idea in your head and then you try to sketch it out or get it out on paper somehow so you can convey your ideas to other people, build a model perhaps, and then you uh, give that to other people and then they, they go and they build it, I mean, and then you direct them as they're building it. So, so you have to be good at also not only thinking up ideas, but relaying them. Yeah, yeah, communication's a big, big part of it. Uh, you have to know how to talk to people and, and get your ideas from here to here. Mm. Now, before we went on the air, you also mentioned that you like photography. Mm -hmm. How did you get into photography? Uh, well, let's see, my grandfather left me his camera, uh, and he died when I was really young, mm. and I just had this old camera for a long, long time, and I always wanted to use it, and uh, when I saw that there was a photography class here at Fullerton College. I uh, signed up for it just to get a chance to use the camera and it's been really rewarding to kind of have that connection with my grandfather and get mm. to use that camera and and make you know film photographs uh, all by hand, no computers involved. It's great. No computers at all? Not at all, no. So just the old school film? Completely old school. <laughs> <laughs> so is photography something that you would like to do on the side as you keep going forward? Yeah, well I'd like to as a hobby but... Uh, okay but as a career, probably won't fit. Okay. <laughs> now, speaking of career, what is the ideal job for you? Well, ideally, uh, I'd love to work as a production designer on a film, um, perhaps an, a film where you get to imagine, maybe like a science fiction film. Okay. Um, and that, that would be, that would be my, my dream job. <laughs> is there any project that you see right now coming out of Hollywood that you say, I want to be a part of that? Um, there's been some really good science fiction uh, films lately, like Star Trek or uh, some of the Marvel movies, where the production designer really gets free reign. We'll stick a bookmark in that because we got to go to commercial break. Please stay tuned.
So welcome back to Future. I'm Ryan Osborne alongside Sean Purser, talking to him about his chosen career path here at Fullerton College and what steps he has taken along the way. Sean, just before we went to commercial break, I was asking you, what's a project that you see in Hollywood that you say, I want to be a part of that? Right. Uh, well, most recently, I guess, you know, the Star Trek films. I mean, the, the sorts of things that a production designer has to do for that and uh, the free reign that a production designer's imagination gets to really take with that. There is the source material, but since it's a completely new reimagining, it's uh, really a delight for someone who likes to create. <laughs> so what would be the, the biggest difference between like a timepiece compared to mm. futuristic? Sure, yeah. Well, when you're doing something that's set in, let's say, the 1920s, you're going to old stores and antique shops and sorts of things, and you're trying to create something that has already existed. Whereas if you go to a new film and you, uh, you get to imagine, you get to design things from scratch, and that's really, uh, that's, that's really a lot more fun as a creative personality. So you can just take it to another level instead of being restricted. Absolutely, yeah. So is there anyone in the industry right now that you say, you know, that's a person that I look up to? Uh, well, let's see. I mean, I've been in contact with the production designer on, there was an indie film called Safety Not Guaranteed with Aubrey mm -hmm. Plaza, and uh, we've been talking a little bit. He's a really nice guy, been helping me out. I, I'm not sh I really wish I remembered his name. He's going to hate me. But, <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I feel like that movie, while simple, still required a lot of production design, and, and uh, it's an inspiration to someone, you know, coming up. And so as a theater major, do you start watching movies and productions with that sort of critical eye? Uh, well, you try not to. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> like the first time, you just want to watch it just for fun, you know, mm -hmm. uh, any kind of thing. Like you read a book, first time, you just want to read it for fun, you know. And then the second time, you go back and then you, you can pick it apart. But you got to have fun the first time or why are you even doing it? There you go. <laughs> so here at Fullerton College, was it your first choice to go to the junior college level? Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's a great way to get your general, general education requirements out of the way. And if you're not really sure what you want to do, you can try different things. It's a fantastic place for that, to try all sorts of different things. And it's a lot of great departments here at Fullerton College, especially the theater department. And the photography department's great, too. That's what I can speak to. And uh, yeah, and then you can get all that. Once you're all set and ready to go, then you can move on to a four-year university. So do you think it gives you a lot more flexibility? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. It gives you a lot of flexibility. I mean, you can, <laughs> you can try things. You, if you go to a four-year university and you want to try things, you're going to spend a lot of money, mm. and you're possibly going to spend a lot of time going down a road that you didn't initially want to go down. And then you'll be like, oh, no, and you have to start all over, and you've wasted a lot of time. Whereas here, you can be taking your general ed, your English, your speech, and then also, like, try a photography, try a theater, try a film, try, mm. you know, try different things. So you can just dabble in different things at yeah, the same time. Absolutely, yeah. And if you and if you, you know, drop with a W or something like that, and then try something else next semester, it's not that big a deal. You do that at a four-year university, you're out a lot of money. Gotcha. Now, what would you say is your advice to incoming freshman students in college? Uh, well, my advice would be to take a year off between high school and college and go like really? travel. Yeah, go see the world a little bit. You know, get get stretch your legs. Uh, that's what they do in Europe. Right after high school, they give everybody a year off before they enter the high, higher education. But uh, if they want to go straight into it, then I would say you need to try a lot of different things. Don't, you know, whatever other people are telling you is what you think you should be doing uh, might not be the thing you should be doing. So try, you know, you got to figure that out for yourself. Well, thank you, Sean, for coming on to the show with us. This has been another encouraging episode of Future. Your future is right there in front of you. You just have to make the right step forward. Thank you once again, Sean, for stopping by, and we will see you next time here on FCTV. Take care.